Welcome to a brand new Let's Play. If all went well, you've seen a very lengthy introduction to uh, how this game... Um, well, not how it works, but what it's kind of about. I'm clicking through things because I think, personally, the music is very loud. Let us fix that. I think this is a more appropriate level, otherwise I feel like I'm shouting at you guys, which is not the idea. The Harkonnen forces seem to be much stronger than ours. It may be for now. This sounds uh, good to me. I'll check after this initial video if it's actually any good. But for now, I'll try and, and talk you through the game a little bit. Um, if you watch the introduction, and if you haven't, you should. You've learned that we are on a planet called Dune. This is where spice can be found. The spice melange, which is the most important substance in the universe. Because it allows you to fold space. Which is travel anywhere without moving. And it's pretty much... Um, well, it's the shit, I think, from giant sandworms that live on this planet. They never really explained where it came from, but it's kind of my own theory. And the thing is, we are part of a house, House Atreides. We are a very influential family. And it's been uh, assigned to us to mine the spice on, on June. But at the same time, there are also uh, a rival house here that's called the Harkonnen. They're vile, evil, ugly people. And we need to drive them off. The Emperor has kind of created this giant game where we just have to fight each other under a set of rules of engagement. And whoever wins, <coughs> whoever wins that, uh, wins June, and wins the right to mine the spice. And of course, will be incredibly wealthy, and rich, and famous, and everything. Um, for now, we are playing the role as Paul Atreides uh, in this particular game, and it's our job to uh, both get spice shipments to the Emperor, because we need to mine the spice, uh, to secure our foothold on uh, this particular planet, and to interact with the local population and stuff like that. We start off in a palace. I think this is built especially for us, for this particular mission. It's a, kind of a safe haven on June. Uh, we can go here without getting shot by the Harkonnen. And this is where most of the family resides. This, for instance, is my, of our father. I am the Duke Leto Atreides, your father. Thank you for introducing yourself to me after all these years. My son, we must mine the spice as soon as possible, or the Emperor will recall us from doom. That sums it up pretty much. We've spotted three troops of Fremen around the palace, and I've sent Gurney Halleck to meet them. He's not returned yet. Go there and see what's keeping Gurney. Gurney Halleck is like my old mentor. Um, he's the guy that trained me in hand-to-hand -hand combat. He's a military expert, supposedly a military genius. And he's uh, with, uh, with us on this planet, and he's doing his thing. Oh, that was it. Thank you, Dad. We can go to the balcony here a little bit. I know this palace very well. It's just a collection of rooms. You can see this little thing here. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm coughing still a little bit from a cold. It's called the Ornithopter. We can uh, travel around the planet with this little machine here. One room further. This is like the end of where you can go forward. There's a mirror. I think this is the mirror. Can I click on it? There should be a mirror. Oh, look at mirror. I thought I could just click on it. This is us. And in this particular screen, we can save the game. There are other ways to save the game, but this is um, uh, one of those points. You can, I think, actually save it everywhere. Look away from mirror. By going to the Sea June map, but this will be into play uh, later on. You can see I've got Rally Troops Zero and stuff. There's nothing going on yet. But I can save the game here as well. It took me a while to set this up properly so it can actually save the game. That was a little bit of a. Sure. Alright, we can move backwards a little bit and find this lady in blue. I'm your mother, Jessica. Really? The Duke has sent Gurney Halleck to Carthag Tuek. Go you. outside, take an orny, and fly there. Hurry up, my son. I sense danger. It's so nice that these people finally introduced themselves to me after all these years. I'm your mother, Jessica. I thought she was just a weird lady in blue all the time, just hanging around. Oh, that was it. That was short and powerful. Hallways. Uh, more hallways. No idea what this is supposed to be. And we're outside of the palace. You can still walk further past in, in, into the desert, but it's dangerous if you, if you venture into this uh, desert area like this. Because you might get lost. And the sun will kill you eventually if you do. We're gonna just uh, stick to the beaten path and take an orny. And we're gonna go to, uh, what was it, Karthik Timon? Karthik 2, it was where Gurney was at, I think. That's where we're gonna go first. 
Now you can kind of fly around like this and, and not skip to the destination. Um, it's a bit of a repetitive rhythm. You got a lot of sand dunes and you will see a lot of the same ones. There are two kinds of like terrain on dune, which is these sand dunes. There are lots of them. And a rocky area. You can see that the rocky area on the map is kind of like dark. There's a little sort of a fish here. But it's, uh, it's just a rocky collection. Here you go. This is how the rock looks like. I'm flying over a crater now that has a rocky edge, which is why I can see some rocks, but we quickly go back to the desert. I'm gonna skip to the destination, we're gonna do some um, exploring later on anyway, so you'll, you'll see a lot of the terrain sliding down underneath you. This is a siege. This is where the local uh, wildlife is, the Fremen, and you can see Gurney is already here. I'm Gurney Halleck, I've served the Atreides for a long time. Thank you, it's appreciated. I've just come into contact with the Fremen. The Fremen have always lived in the sands of Dune. They live in sieges so well hidden that no one knows exactly how many there are. I've tried to convince them to work for us. You try, Paul. They may trust you. Have you actually tried offering them like food or shelter or money or anything? No? Actually, Gurney. I've just come into contact yes, with you told me. Paul. I'm going with you. Now you'll just follow me around. You can see I can I can have two companions here, and one of them uh, one of the slots is currently filled because Gurney's here. Fremen. We've heard of you. You are the son of the Atreides Duke, and of Jessica the. Could he be the one? Why are you being so secretive? What were you about to call my mother there, sir? We Fremen are the original inhabitants of Dune. We've adapted our way of life to the desert. Well, it's that or death, isn't it? Uh... How about you work for me? Yes, I agree <laughs> to let my troops work for you. That's way too easy. But these uh, people are apparently under suspicion that I could be like their next messiah. So they're, I think they're just gonna give me an honest chance here. But it's, it's quite ridiculous how easy it is. Like, hmm, you got like a thousand people on your command? How about you just do everything I tell you? Yeah, sure. Well, we're gonna give them orders. We are awaiting your orders. I can select troop occupation, I can do spice and army, but army... I don't think my troop feels the necessity to fight for you. They're not that motivated yet. They want to work for me, they don't want to die for me just yet. It's, it, it hopefully will change in the future. We aren't very used to spice mining. We'll try to learn. We are doing spice mining. For a very short Here are time. the characteristics of my troop. They got no equipment whatsoever. 1900 men though, that's a lot. Motivation 28%, so... I guess they sort of motivated. Let me show you what our production level will be. That's not a lot. We aren't well equipped to extract spice, but we're trying to do the best we can. However, it would be better with a harvester. Yeah, I'll look into that. Would you like me to repeat what I said, Paul Atreides? No, we're good. Um, I'm gonna skip and go outside. You can see the sky turns beautiful shades when the sun is going down. Destination on map. There are two ways you can select your destination. Either use that, that other map or this one. I think this is more like the official one. I'm gonna skip it. You'll see plenty of dunes in the meantime. I can feel something in you. But I wonder if you will be able to penetrate the secrets of this planet. Trust me, I will. I've played this game before. But, oh shit, work for me. I can feel... I'm not quite sure that you're able to appreciate our skills yet. Mm, your specialized assassins, or why are you being so damn secretive? Select destination. Park. Oh, those guys didn't want to work for me just yet. No biggie though, we'll convince them later on. We saw you coming from the other siege. Yes, I agree to let my troops work for you. That was so easy. I love it. My troop is awaiting your orders. We know a little about Spice Mine. Alright, good luck, guys. New guy. I'm Duncan Idaho. The Duke asked me to supervise the production of spice. This is pretty much uh, our numbers guy. He's gonna administrate our production of spice, how much we have in stock, how much the Emperor wants. He's quite a handy little fellow to have around. 
Well, for the moment, I haven't much to do. I hope that we'll be able to extract large quantities of spice very soon. Same here. If you really want to know about the properties of spice, ask your mother, Jessica. Here are our current stocks of spice. Well, they dug up 10 kilograms while I was flying around. Do remember that spice is by far the most valuable substance in the whole universe. And that it can only be found here on Dune. I don't think he'll walk with me. I can't now. I have some work left here. He's gonna monitor it at 10 kilograms. Good luck, sir. The spice is mined from the sand of Dune. The spice prolongs life and extends consciousness. It's used by the guild navigators to travel through space. I wonder what the proximity of so much spice will do to you, Paul. <coughs> Sorry for the coughing. It's horrible, I know. Uh, spice is pretty much drugs. And it changes people as you get into contact with it more and more. And for one thing, your eyes turn blue, like the white in your eyes turn blue. Oh, that's it? Oh, yeah. But it also does other things to both your body and your mind if you get in contact with it a lot. We'll uh, get into it later, I think. The Fremen have a special garment which they call a still suit. Wearing this, they can stay in the desert without losing body fluid. Handy. It would be advantageous for us to have some of these still suits. I want you and Gurney to go and find some of these suits for us. Alright. And remember, avoid wandering in the desert. You won't go very far without a still suit. Even if you have a still suit later on, if you go wandering in the desert, you still die. Oh yes, still suits. Let me remember. <laughs> That's it. The Freeman in the siege where we met told me about a still suit maker. Did you notice? All the Freeman we meet have blue eyes. Totally blue. No whites in them. It's linked to saturation of the blood with spice. There you go. I was trying to explain this earlier, Gurney, but I don't have your eloquence. The Freeman seem to be organized into tribes or troops. No shit. Alright, the tribe where you met me. That should be the one at the south. This one. Have you heard about any still I suit maker? I thought you looked interested in my still suit. Yes, we are. Yes, I know a still suit maker. You will find him if you fly eastward in your orny. It's not very far, but... Be sure to fly with someone. Sieges are well hidden and not easy to find. It's pretty much a game mechanic that he just explained. <coughs> we can go flying around at random and we might find new sieges. <coughs> Maybe even with new Fremen in it. But you need to fly with somebody, preferably two. Because those people look out the window as well. And they can alert you. If you don't have anybody with you, you just fly straight over siege. You won't find it. We're doing spice mining. Thank you. Uh, east was it, right? Select destination. Here we go. And this is where we do need to start uh, the exploring a bit. It's uh, early morning on day two. It's the dawn of the second day. The sun is coming up over June. And this is how it looks. Kind of like this though. There's an old disc version. This is the CD version. <coughs> and the old says, uh, disc version you really race over the terrain. But it doesn't look as pretty. This is more like your bobbing and weaving your way through. Personally I would say make a little bit more altitude so you don't have to zig and zag between the dunes. But it does have a good feeling flying over the surface of dune. I wouldn't want to live here to be honest. Deserts are pretty and all but if the whole planet looks like this very little variety except for some rocky areas here and there. It looks like a siege there on the left. Thank you, Gurney. Good eyes, man. Good eyes. I'll let this play out so you can see how it, la it looks when we land next to that siege. You can skip to it now, but I think there's actually a little animation when you put your arms up to down in front of it. Yep, here we go. The map disappeared. And there is a siege. Basically just a big fat hole in the ground. Oh, it's a big one. It's got several rooms. Wow. 
This is a big one. Can I stroll past you? No, no, wait. <laughs> We'd rather you didn't visit our siege. Aww. There's nothing here for you to see. What? I'll be the judge of that. No, no, wait. <laughs> We'd rather you didn't visit our siege. Wait, wait. <laughs> I haven't finished yet. All right, all Welcome right. Welcome to our siege. Thank you. Ladies. Thank you. I'm, I'm a bit hasty. I'm in a hurry, you see, because the entire universe is in the balance, but please get, get all the pleasantries out of the way. So, you want to know about the principles of our still suits? It's good that you're so keen to learn our ways. Yes, I'm, I'm very interested. A still suit is basically a high efficiency filter. Uh huh. Perspiration passes through the first layer and is gathered in the second. Salt is separated and the reclaimed water circulates to catch pockets from which you can drink through a tube at your neck. So you're drinking your own sweat and God knows what else. It's a very charming device. Breathing and walking provide the pumping action. Here are some steel suits for both of you, and I'll send some to your palace as well. Must be heavy breathing then, like in the hot desert air, and it's also needed to provide energy to a process? Wow. I know of two more sieges in the vicinity whose leaders would be more than interested in meeting you, Paul Atreides. Travel north and east. North yeah. and east, duly noted, but I do think these appear on my map. We've heard of you. Yes, yes, I agree to let my... We are awaiting your orders. Bring me spice. I've seen a spice harvester around. Have a look at the characteristics of my... Tree. I can give him my orny, but I will be stuck here. I can't walk back. I'm sure that we'll do a better job with this harvester. We're doing spice. Here are the characteristics of my crew. 1,740 men, motivation 30%. Let me show you what our production level will be. Not bad, not bad, sir. Alright, uh, guys that are watching, I will call this a video right here. I hope it's a good start to what should be um, a long adventure on Dune where we <coughs> interact with Fremen, cough a little, hopefully get a lot of spice production going and eventually fight some Harkonnen. For now, I say bye-bye and I hope to see you again tomorrow.